Vietnam and welcome back here to my YouTube channel. This is Nelson Bezan speaking and I'm doing so from Mozambique. I'm being specific now guys, I'm in a, a province called Gaza and in a small city called Shai Shai. So here we are and I just want to show you around for you to see how does the city look like and how does the market here, I mean just talking about the public market look like like a market which is in a very open place so stay tuned to this video because I'm gonna be taking you around the city called Shai Shai so you're gonna have a basic idea of what is going on here and how it's like life around here so guys let's make this happen together this is just the surrounding of the city so a lot is happening place and here we have precisely the main road which leads you to different uh, Mozambican province we have 11 provinces in the country so this road is the main road it's called N1 national road so if you go this side you end up in Maputo which is the capital city in Mozambique Oh, this small city, Sheshai, is super concentrated. So if you go like 100 meters behind these buildings, you're going to find like a totally different uh, scene or scenario. Right behind this building, some 100 meters behind it. So you can't even tell that we are actually in the city. That's crazy, that's really crazy. Look at this reality. We have a very big pothole here. A huge pothole. And these are the different houses we have in the city. This is how they look like. And if you go this way, gonna find the market so we're gonna go this way before 1975 I'm just talking about before Mozambique became independent this city was called João Bezo and then after the independence of the country they decided to change it from João Bezo to Shai Shai and actually guys there is a like really curious fact I think in my whole life, in my entire life, I've never seen a city with so many dogs as the city of Shai Shai. They have dogs everywhere, guys. That's super curious. Shops on the right, shops on the left. So guys we are finally at the market and I'm gonna take you inside right now let's shop together in here window shopping not window shopping because there is nothing <laughs> to window shop here so this is the entrance of the market And the market is called Limpopo Market. How soon? Malmunu Mulala. Oh God! This is a kind of uh, traditional toothbrush. When we don't have a toothbrush, we use this just to brush our teeth. And basically, you have to peel it first. You just peel it. This way. And then you chew it because it's a bit hard, you know. Okay, kind of like chew. 
and after chewing it, so after chewing it, it becomes this way, and then we have to start brushing the teeth. And guys, it's bitter, it's super bitter, but it's really. And after that guys you have to spit because it's bitter and you're not supposed to swallow it. So I'm trying to find a place where I can spit it. Hmm? Okay, so this is how basically we use it. Okay? It's called mulala. Whenever you don't have like uh, the conventional toothbrush, then you use this to clean your mouth and your teeth. Fantastic. And this costs only 10 meters. Let's keep exploring the market. Oh, some hooks. Fishing hooks being sold here. So inside the Limpopo market located in Sheshai, Gaza province in Mozambique. There is a lot happening here, guys. Passage there, man. Passage there. Muito agradecido. Estamos juntos. Como chama maçã verde? Maçã verde, como chama? Maçã está bem. Cada? Sim, está cá, mas top de três. Top de quatro. Cinco. Cinco. So now I'm just buying apples. Huh? <laughs> Nada. 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 So now I'm just trying to yeah, buy some yeah. apples here. Yeah. Green apples. It's costing 20 meters, guys. I'm going to go of these traditional coats cop lana pepper all the vegetables carrots leeches cabbage everything is just being sold in this area over here
Wow, guys, so dried fish being sold here. Mm -hmm. Dried fish being sold here, guys. Look at this. Yeah, guys, so this is the basically the scenario of the Mpopo markets. It's quite busy. You can buy almost everything around here food, clothes. Yeah, and some other stuff that you might need for the daily living you can find everything here so that was it the Mpoku market and guys if you really had good time watching this video please remember to share it like and if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so and by doing that you'll be supporting me a great deal so I'll see you on the next video and remember to keep on training